Hello Aries, this is LT Tarot about to do your July love reading. Hey. Um, so if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a like, give me a comment, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of my family. So, um, what I'm gonna do is kind of just tell you what's going on with your love life. Um, kind of tell you anything messages I'm seeing here. And then on the other side, um, I'm going to tell you about your blocks, the things you need to work on, and how your partner feels. So if you want to purchase the extended version, all you have to do is click on my website and go on there and do do do, and order that extended version. It'll be um, emailed to you. So let me go ahead and um, get started with your reading. what messages come out for you guys for one the first thing come out is that you guys are the magician so you're ready to manifest anything you want right now so if love is on your mind girl a guy you can definitely manifest that you have nothing um, holding you back when it comes to love so you have the ability and you have the resource to manifest anything you want the next thing I see is strength so you know, even though you may feel like you've been through a lot, we all have been through a lot. I tell people that all the time. Don't feel like sometimes your your situation is worse than worse or better than somebody else because keep living. Things are gonna happen. You know, my grandma used to say that. Keep living. You know, you have the four of air. So right now it's time to uh, it's time to me uh, meditate, rest, take your time and figure out what you want because. What's happening for you is is that you're manifesting things, but if you don't know what you're manifesting, then you just uh, bring in any, any and everything in your uh, life, and it's just causing chaos. So you really need to take the time, relax, um, and manifest the things that you want in your life, because you do not want to manifest um, negativity, because you can do that. You know, you can say, "Man, every time I look around, bad stuff happens." And then really what happens is every time you look around, bad things really happen to you. And so that's where you're at right now in your present moment is that you need to take time and meditate. Let's see what the next thing is. So within the next six weeks, I see that you're going to have victory. You could be getting a proposal. You could be getting married. But you're definitely going to have an achievement that's coming in within the next six weeks. So be aware of that. Because love is definitely on your side. And I see that you guys are doing a lot of manifestations. The next thing I see is the hermit. So it's again, spend time in, uh, in quiet. I mean, spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. So before you bring in this new love, you do need to, um, or enhance the love, you do need to figure out exactly what you want and continue to grow and continue to have these, uh, the spiritual growth that's coming in your life. The Ace of Water, that tells me that you're falling in love. Uh, there is a uh, there could be someone coming in, but this is also spiritual growth and spiritual uh, intuition or enhanced intuition. But this is all about new beginnings when it comes to love. So you may have been in love with someone, and um, you know there it was just kind of stale. But I do see that there is going to be some new beginnings when it comes to it. Your advice card is release. And it said this is um, the end of a diff um, of a phase or a situation. And again, a spiritual transformation. Use this time for you to leave the uh, past behind. Start uh, manifesting. Uh, sorry. Start manifesting the things you want, and kind of like leave your past in the past and continue to move forward. You have the page of Earth. And so you got some good news coming. So you got some good news coming about financial. I see that you haven't, when your partner comes in, you're going to uh, want to just study that person and know everything about that person. So that's actually very good, very positive. The next thing is the Ace of Earth. 
Um, you guys got some money coming in. It's coming in all in your love reading. So there's an inflow of abundance. You probably have some business uh, ventures, um, some important documents that uh, or contracts that need to be signed. Um, but you guys definitely are having some um, some money coming in, and it's gonna you're gonna. I feel like you're just manifesting any and everything, any and everything you want. And your outcome is that you have the ten of waters. So there's going to be, you're going to feel content. You're going to have a uh, rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are going to be met. So there's no need for you to, um, you know, there's no need for you to um, feel any type of way. Feel like love is not on your side because it's on your side. So what I'm going to do is, because I read those cards so quickly, um... I'm going to go back over them and clarify these cards and see what's going on here. So let's see what this magician about. Let's get some more information about the magician. Mm. You guys are manifesting your lover, the lover's card. And um, there's a lot of soulmates being found this month because I never really pulled the lover's card. And I've been pulling the lover's card so much um well about twice in your um in readings i think this is like my third time pulling the love two or three times pulling the love card and so people are finding their soulmates so anyway um you're manifesting your your soulmate so continue to keep pushing forward your soulmate is coming your way which is definitely going to be an intimate relationship Let's see. Let's see what the strength card is about. Okay, so it's telling us to have strength because you have the four of fire. And the four of fire is all about contentment, peace, and abundance. So you just got to continue to hold on even though you may not see the light in this situation. Continue to hold on because things are going to work out for you. Let's see what this um, four of air is about. You're supposed to be meditating on some things. Okay. So you got the two of earth. So they want you to meditate because you're going to uh, you're gonna have to make some decisions in the um, near future. And uh, you're going to, it's telling you to, um, to take a more playful approach with it. Let's see what the chariot is all about. The seven of air. So there's plans that needs revision. So um, you may not thought that you was going to get proposed to, but you know those things may happen. Like whatever your plan is, it may change, and I feel like someone is proposing to you. The hermit is clarified by the dreamer. It's telling you that basically you need to go within yourself, find yourself. And then um, meditate and then take a leap of faith. The next thing to do after meditating is taking a leap of faith. With the ace of water, um, with the falling in love, you got the world. And that is telling you that you have a job well done. You're on the path towards enlightenment. So you're on the right path. And you're going to kind of feel like you're on top of the world because with this new relationship that's coming your way. Um, the next thing is release. Let's see what this card is about. You have the Ace of Fire. So once you release um, your past, it's going to bring in an um, exciting new opportunity. Uh, it's going to probably be a career advancement. So you could be meeting this person at work. Um, but this definitely is going to change your life. Clarifying the page of water. I told you you're studying somebody or you're going to be studying somebody, you know, getting to know them. And this is the two of water. And it's just, uh, once you start studying and getting to know this person, you know, this relationship is going to definitely grow closer. Clarify the face of earth. So you have the eight of air. So um, 
Basically, this is telling you to stop feeling so trapped and have a little more self-confidence about your love life and about your money. Because self-confidence is going to give you this new money that's coming, this inflow of abundance. And abundance could be um, on an emotional level or on a financial level. But it's basically telling you to um, have a little more faith in yourself. Um, stop being afraid to take action. You know what to do. And the Ten of Earth, clarifying the Ten of, um, sorry, of Water, is the Queen of Earth. So when you meet this person, kind of uh, take a more sensible approach. Um, just be a little more thoughtful, a little creative, showing a little warmth, and um, being a little more sensible to this person. Because this is, you know, you are dealing with a soulmate because you do have a lover's card. So let's see what these romance angels are saying about this love, uh, love so it's telling you to keep an open mind and saying that your soulmate may differ from um, your usual type and expectation um, it's saying that there could be a separation so you may not live close to this person this person may stay far away from you um, or you could be traveling I'm to support it, but there's some type of distance that's keeping you guys. It could be mental, you know, uh, mental and emotional distance, or it could be physical. But I don't feel like that's a breakup. I feel like you are dealing with, you may not actually be with this your soulmate right now. So there is a separation, but there you guys will become one. In your past up to your recent present, uh, finances and career. So it's telling me financial issues are a factor in your love right, life right now. So you either are trying to sell on a career path or you feel like you lack of money. So, you you know, that's kind of like where your focus is right now. There could be some religious um, factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you kind of know what you want with this person. You know, like what is the best guy, the best girl for you. So this is the past life, or not past life, but this is someone from your past coming back. So there is um, a reconciliation. So this could be just a, a blossom of a new relationship. You know, there are a little distance between you guys right now. Um, but this, you know, it will come back together. You need to work on letting go of control issues. So you need to start allowing things to fold, unfold naturally. I feel I see that you're gonna be really attracted to this person. So you're just gonna be thinking, oh, you so fine. You so fine. Like you sexy, babe. That's all you're gonna be feeling like, baby. You are fucking sexy. you also going to be getting engaged to this person. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this is your soulmate, shoot. You don't necessarily have to get engaged to nobody. Because once there's a spiritual connection, you don't need the, land of the, uh, the law of the land to tell you that you're going to be with this person forever. You know? There's, you're going to feel like you're on a honeymoon with this person. So you're just going to kind of like enjoy the moment with them. This is going to be like, oh, baby, I love you. Like every moment is going to be like, dang, baby. Like I feel like it's a honeymoon every day of the week. For t It's been 50 years and there's a honeymoon every day of the week. And the last thing for you to know is safe for you to love. So it's okay for you to open your heart and give, give and receive the highest level or the highest energy of all. And the last thing is saying, continue to love yourself first. Um, so, you know, you guys, that is going to be your reading. So, um, please go ahead. If you made it this far, I should get a like from you. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. You know, like this far, I definitely should get a like because it does help me out. Go ahead and subscribe and become part of the family. We do do a lot of good stuff here. Um, I'm also start, about to start a spiritual group um, where people can actually, um, we all talk together and grow together. Um, if that's something you're interested in, I'm going to drop my email below. 
you can always send me an email and tell me that that's something that you're interested in until next time guys i should be doing your what is it called um not reconciliation but the mercury retrograde readings tomorrow i know i'm not gonna do this tonight i thought i was gonna be able to do all my readings tonight but i did do all my generals i'm about to do all my love readings and tomorrow i will work on my retrograde readings and tell you who's coming back because you guys got somebody coming back and if this you know if you want to know more about this go ahead and um purchase my extended version of this and i'll um, tell you more about how your partner feel and what's going to be happening so until next time guys